Wetangula did not become speaker because of the votes of Fort Kenya. He became speaker because of the 145 members of parliament yes! of New Zealand. If the five members of Fort Kenya had voted for Wetangula, he would have gotten five votes. If the six members of ANC would have voted for Wetangula, Wetangula would have gotten 11 votes. To become speaker, you need two-thirds of members of parliament present and voting. So he is speaker courtesy of you. Yeah. 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 Number two, we are thankful to the president that thanks to the votes that you people voted in Bungoma, today, Susan Nakumija Wafula is minister. Today, Mweshmiwa Mudabadi is the chief minister. Today, Ababu Namwamba is minister. Those are three cabinet secretaries from our community. Finally, but not least, thanks to your vote, the people of Bungoma, we have six permanent secretaries, principal secretaries from our community. We have Professor Edward Kisiya. Bungoma County. Bada ya speaker, bada watangu lakua speaker. Kiti chake chiliweza kutangazwa wazi kwamba kutakuwa na uchaguzi ambao utakukifanyika katika county ya Bungoma. Mm. Tupe kwa sira wagombea ni wangapi kutoka Bungoma? Ah, wagombea ni wengi lakini mm. wengine wako yeah. wako kwenye kinyang'anyiro kusindikiza wengine. <laughs> Wagombea. 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 wagombea ambao tunaweza sema ni wagombea tunaweza sema watatu tuko na mambo mabonga wa UDA ambaye alianguka uchaguzi uliopita wa fula wa Koli of Kenya Ndiyo. na wa fula wa mnyenyi wa Zimio DAPK chama cha Mbolea chama cha Mbolea hao ndio wagombea wengine ni wakusindikiza watu basi unajua mbele leo una, unachipua kutoka pale naam sema kwamba ndani nyumba ya Kenya kwanza naam watu wa asla nation. Mbona anga muweza kusimamisha tu mgombea mmoja badala ya kusimamisha wawili? Ronga my friend, mm. uh, kwanza kitu ya kwanza before din address hiyo. Mm. Ndio kwanza na nyi watu wa media mnasema kuna ugomvi kati ya Fundi Kenya na UDA, kuna ugomvi kwenye Kenya kwanza. And I want to make it very clear. Sisi hatuna ugomvi. Lakini Kalwale the way speaking alikuwa kwa ule majuzi. Uh -huh. Kalwale anaspeak ana speak violent sana. Hakuna cha ku speak violent. Unaona inalingana ni where the part that you are affiliated ukisikiliza halua la kiongea ndio maana vitaijaje. Lakini kuja kwa swali lako eh vyama vyote vya UDA kwa sasa hatuna mkataba kuwa uh, any region yeah. iko zone for a certain party. Oh. Kila chama kiko na haki ya kufile any candidate mahali popote tuko na uchaguzi mwingine Kandara, Ukule, Muranga, Garissa yeah. Township, Elgio Marakwet, yeah. vyama vyote ambavyo viko katika muungano wa, wa Kenya Kwanza yeah. vina haki ya kufile candidates. Oh. Sasa Bungoma is not an exception. UDA can file a candidate uh, same to for the Kenya. Hadi ANC wangetaka, hadi chama cha kazi vyama vyote. Sasa hatuna shida hapo. Lakini kuna shida bwana sanyo zimdanganya mhm nyinyi wenyewe wenyewe mbunge dani wa nyama endelea mm. dimas barasa mm. bwana uelewane eh uh, dimas ndio eh uh, sitongea vibaya kuhusu dimas kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza ni rafiki yango mkubwa ndio but you know rafiki ambaye akwambia ukweli si rafiki mzuri <laughs> <laughs> na mimi eh hey. dimas uh, tutamwambia ukweli ndio dimas ako katika chama cha UDA yako UDA, UDA tuko na mgombeaji wetu ambaye anaitwa Mwambu Mabonga Mwambu Mabonga lakini dimas kwa hekima yake mm. ameona ni vyema aende kumunga mkono mgombeaji wa chama cha Ford Kenya wa Fulu mm. Akoli mm. ambaye pia we can say it's his democratic right and yeah. kata, but the but real about... motive behind dimas shifting uh, support mm. to uh, to for the Kenya's candidates kila mtu anajua si kwa sababu yule mgombea ako na nini ama nini ambacho mwambu ana yeah. ni kwa sababu this is what we call personal gains didi masbaraza eh, mwako wa 2027 yeah. anazimia kuwania kiti cha governor bungoma 
na sasa Didimas uh, ni, ni sijui ni nani alimdanganya hmm. kuwa Ford Kenya uh, kuwa uh, tiketi ya UDA ya kuania ugavana hata pata sijui ni nani alimdanganya kuwa 2027 mwambu mabonga atawania ugavana hmm. sasa Didimas kwa hekima yake yeye amepiga hesabu ili aunge muoniaji wa Ford Kenya ili 2027 apate tiketi ya Ford Kenya na pia aweze kumzuia Mwambu Mabonga najua anafikiria Mwambu Mabonga akianguka wakati huu 2027 he won't make a, a comeback hizo ndio hesabu zake za Didi Masbaraza but uh, poor him is what's going to happen eh mwana sasa umetoa umetoa ujumbe hapa kwamba washaangalia mwaka 2027 my friend watu wamejipanga watu wanapiga hesabu eh yeah. yeah. na kusema omoni kwamba kuna mtu atakuja pita katikati sasa hiyo ni maneno ya Didimas na wenzake <laughs> sisi <laughs> eh, yeah. as for now we are focusing for the senatorial seat 2027 ni wakati ukifika tutajua ni nani tutapatia mm. kama ni Didi Maspia kama ata to convince kuwa his worth it tutampatia kama ni mtu mwingine pia anaweza to convince his worth it tutampatia siasa za 2027 bado lakini eh, kuna watu wanarakisha maneno sasa hizi ni wakati wa kufanya kazi na siasa ya useneta ya Bungoma sasa maneno ya ugavana mm. wakati wake utafika watu wasikimbie una kwamba hii mgogoro kati ya yeah. Kenya kwanza kusema tunachukulia hiyo kwa mkuu kwa sababu mambo yamesimama mko mko kwa Kenya yamesimama uone kwamba chama kingine tu kikisimamisha mtu atakuza kupita katikati na kura ambazo tu nyinyi mpoteshe kiti my friend to mm. put it first uh, correctly hakuna mm. mgogoro katika <laughs> muungano wa Kenya kwanza hakuna ah. mgogoro kabisa bibi mas na dano nyama walikuwa wanasema nini walikuwa wako chama moja let me give you a good example ndio yeah. Nini eh, watu wa Azimio kwanza wanaeleza propaganda kwa yeah, kuna yeah. mgogoro katika muungano wa Kenya kwanza yeah. it's very incorrect ni madai, there's nothing ni madai, ni madai. Ni madai. Yeah. Eh, 20 eh, katika uchaguzi wa mwezi wa nane yeah. kaunti ya Bungoma Azimio ilikuwa na mwaniaji wa ugavana katika chama cha DAP yeah. Azimio ilikuwa na mwaniaji eh, wa ugavana katika chama cha cha di eh, cha, cha jirongo Ndiyo. na hivi vyama vyote viko katika muungano wa azimio mbona tu kusema kulikuwa na mgogoro wakati huo hakuna mgogoro umesema ulikuwa uchaguzi wa mwezi wa nane lakini uchaguzi mwingine ambao unafanyika unasikia those are different scenarios and you see my friend yes e eh, katika uchaguzi wa mwezi wa nane UDA did not fill the candidate for senatorial seat kwa sababu tulikuwa na mkataba ambao ulikuwa unasema mm. eh, that seat will be zoned will be reserved for for the Kenya candidate lakini like tuseme papua roma UDA eh, kidogo tu UDA mm. haikuwa na mwaniaji wa kiti cha ugavana kwa sababu mkataba ulikuwa unasema that seat will be reserved for for the Kenya candidate mm. kwa sasa mkataba huo hauko na sasa kila chama kina haki ya kuwa na waniaji katika katikati. Eh. Lakini you know what I know eh. eh, sijui mtu azimia atapita katikati akienda wapi <laughs> ikiwa kuna mshindi tayari. Ah, we have been on the ground. Eh, wakati kwa sasa tunavyoongea eh, mwaniaji wa chama cha UDA Mwambu Mabonga anatarajia ushindi mkubwa what we call the landslide victory asa kama kuna muti ya zimi itapita katikati yeah. maybe atapita katikati yawe namba mbili sanyo nikuuliza kwamba mwamu mabonga wakazi wa bongo mawezi kuangalia mbona aliangusha ubunge my friend mm. eh, kazi ya ubunge ni tofauti sana ah, ah, kazi anga, wanasema anga wanaangalia anga what have you done umefanya nini umefanya nini watu eh ndo bana tunakwambia mm. kazi ya ubunge mm. ni tofauti sana na kazi ya useneta lakini anatoka na wale ambao wanashauku kuwa mambo mabonga hajafanya kazi bumula mm. they are free to go and walk there watona kazi ambayo imefanywa katika miaka mitano iliyopita mambo mabonga alifanya kazi The reason why he did not make it nikikwambia hapo utashtuka. You see, uh, I think that will be discussion for another day. Another day. Lakini uh, kitu ambacho kilifanya Mwambu Mabonga akushinda katika uchaguzi wa mwezi wa nane haikuwa kwa sababu hakufanya kazi. Yeah. The other factors. Yeah. Sasa kama Mwambu Mabonga alifanya kazi. Alifanya kazi. Na imejitokeza waziwazi pale wale matamshi yake. Mm. 
si mazuri vile kwa speaker wa bunge la taifa mm-hmm. kwa amesema kwamba hii kiti yeye mnaenda kuchukua si ndio mm-hmm. anafanya siasa za ku za UDA na kwamba si, wote kwamba unajua ni sehemu ya magharibi yote si ndio mm-hmm. ukiangalia ametoka Kakamega county mm-hmm. hapa ni Bungoma county je tuone kwamba rais atakuja kupiga campaign ama weta Unajua my friend uh, kitu ya kwanza agora mtu ambongea vibaya kuhusu ah. Moses Otangula. Mo, ah, uh, Papa Roma ni yeye video ndaicheza katikati nitatakuonyesha baadaye. Sisi mm. kama watu wa Bungoma na watu wa Magharibi tunamheshimu sana Papa wa Roma. Ndio. Ni kiongozi wetu na tunamwenzi na tunamheshimu. Lakini aibanishi kuwa wakati anaenda njia mbaya sisi tutanyamaza tumwambie mm. eh, mkubwa hapa iwendi tabari. You see, Atimu we kubwa. cannot celebrate when our king is naked. The man who may say, like a good friend, is what do tells you the truth. Adi kume namna gani, lakini kama mekuambia ukweli, yeah. ni ukweli. Ukweli ambao uko ni kuwa, eh, akuna makosa yoyote mtu kuania katika kiti cha Ford Kenya, kiti cha katika tiketi ya Ford Kenya, ya UDA, ya ANC, akuna makosa yoyote. Sasa wale ambao wanataka kuifanya iwe makosa ndo wanaleta hizi tashishi zote. Sasa sisi hatuna shida na kiongozi eh, na speaker wa, wa bunge la taifa Moses Wetangula tunamheshimu. Nimekuuliza unamtarajia kuja ground? Uh, kulingana na kazi ambayo anaifanya sasa hizi, hmm. kulingana na kiti ambacho anakishikilia sasa hizi, uh, sidhani kama anafaa kuja. Afai kukuja kwa sababu uh, the speak of the national assembly uh, not, is not supposed to take part to take side in any political activity ndo maana hadi sasa hizi tukienda kwa ukweli Moses Otangula is not party leader of uh, Ford Kenya hapo na, na, na sasa uh, afai kukuja katika ground na rais rais mbona hakuje ground hako na kazi Hako na kazi ya kufanya. Hizo <laughs> za... ni vita zetu umenipiga chenga lakini. Hizi ni vita zetu huko chini tutapigana. Wasema kwamba Rais ana haki ya kukuja. Hey. Lakini sisi tumemwambia bwana Rais mm. wewe kaa huko Nairobi, mm. enda huko Turkana uangalie watu wanakufa njaa, mm. enda huko Kitui ama wapi huko watu wanakufa kiangazi, wewe fanye hiyo kazi. Acha sisi maneno ya Bungoma tupigane wenyewe tutakuletea yeah. jinsi. Unasema ni mambo madogo ya che vijana wake watako wat, 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 the issue yeah. underground. Kabisa. Do, do, do kusema kweli kwamba tutarajie mtu ambaye atakachaguliwa kama senator mungo. Najua kwamba papa Roma alikuwa kigogo, si ndio? No. Amekuwa kigogo pale hata siasa zilizopita mwaka elfu mbili mwaka utu. No. Au kutoa hata picha moja posta. No. Alienda bila kupingwa akupiga campaign vipi? No. Najua ni nini kitacho ni nini hata ni nini atakayechagulia senator kitampa changamoto zaidi kwa sababu papa Roma kusema kazi amefanya kweli anatetea kaunti ya Bungoma akiwa na ofisadi hata kama Ken Ken Trusaka akiwa ametetea kaunti ya Bungoma sasa hivi Ken Sanaru tena ataitetea kaunti ya Bungoma je atakuwa nini atakuwa na changamoto hii kwa sababu papa Roma alikuwa mtu fearless man hakuwa hata kwa chama chake alikuwa anasema ukweli je kati ya Ford Kenya na UDA au vigogo wili unaangalia nani yupi akichaguliwa atafanya kama papa Roma. Unajua my friend mm. uh, awa viongozi wote ambao wanawania kumu kumuridhi papa wa Roma mm. wamejitokeza tumewaona. Yeah. Sasa hizi ukienda Bungoma utafuta hadi mtoto mdogo mm. umuulize tunasema kuse ni toa nani. Mm. Ukimwambia uh, utasikia na kuambia kitu huku ndo ya hangalata. Yeah. Yaani huyo mwingine bada jakoma. <laughs> kitu ambacho anamaanisha si kukoma ki, kimiaka mm-hmm. lakini kisiasa. kisiasa. Yeah. Na u, u, uh, um, uh, jiza babi umesema papa wa Roma amekuwa kigogo. Amekuwa kigogo. Ili kumridhi tunahitaji kigogo. Kigogo mwingine. We need a fearless man. Mm ambaye anaenda ku who is going also to ride on the bar that Papa Roma has already set. Yes. And uh, that person mimi ukiniuliza my personal opinion mm. you know it. <laughs> ipo ipo ukusema ukweli bwana Sanyo uchaguzi uliopita alikuwa nyuma ya Mwamuba Bonga alikusimama uchaguzi asimama na kidete hadi sasa hivi ameji 
tukeza tena hapo na jo mimi sijasema mambo mabonga lakini kwa sababu wewe ndio umesema ipo ipo kuna mtandao upo sanyo sanyo tezao elekeza picha zipo uliweka pale hauwezi kichikaranga wewe ni kwanza nyumbani ayo hiyo ndio nini ana ubonge lako la nyumbani naam na sasa msuka kwa utuzo unajua mimi nimekuuliza you ask me mimi nikakomi mimi najua hali ilivyo wewe mwenye umejijazia sasa watazamaji amesema ni mwambu mabonga mimi ndani nipinge hali sasa mwambu mabonga hali tarehe nane mchaguzo uliofanyika alikuwa nyuma ya mwambu mabonga sasa hivi sioni unasema kwa true that naked truth ndio hakuna ya vile unaweza vuka side nyingine mimi eh, kitu ya kwanza mm. sijavuka waka side nyingine mimi ni mwanachama wa UDA mm. and I'll support UDA candidate mm. and the UDA candidate is none other than Mwambu Mabonga mm. and we not supporting eh, Mwambu Mabonga because he's just a UDA candidate we support him, him kwa sababu ni yeye anaweza mvaa kiatu ambacho papa wa Roma ameacha Ah uh, tukiangalia vizuri kaunti ya Bungoma tunaiguzi la tuguzi pale pengine. Naam. Ukiangalia maeneo ya mabonge yote. Naam. Je, Mambo Mabonga ameshika ground gani kwa? Uh, my friend, kitu cha kwanza uh, I want to bring to your attention like I'm a statistician. Mm. Sasa uh, kitu ambacho nasema you uh, ambacho naenda kusema you can't overrule me kwa sababu <laughs> I'm a statistician by profession. I know that was. Sasa mm. uh, mimi nimekuwa ground. Mm. I did my research and collected my data mm. na kitu ambacho naenda kusema it's mm. the truth mm. and nothing but the truth. Mm. Uh, katika kaunti ya Bungoma toko na maeneo bunge tisa katika maeneo bunge haya mm. eh, na bunge ambalo liko na wapiga kura wapigaji kura wengi zaidi mm. ni Kandui 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 ikifuatwa na Tongareni ikifuatwa na Bumula then Mount mm. eh, katika maeneo bunge haya mm. eh, we, eh, statistics zinaonyesha kuwa mambo mabonga amejitahidi ameza mm. kumaintain what you call is home, home ground ambayo ni Bumula constituency Bumula constituency Mambo mabonga ukiangalia we said the, part, the voting pattern of Mount Elgon huko mm. watu watapigia kwanza kura mambo mabonga ama wafula wakoli huko mm. watu watapigia wili baro kura <laughs> and we is riding on a wili baro yes. you know it is none other than Mambo mabonga yeah. Sasa Mambo mabonga uh, so far on a head start we can say as Bumula and uh, Mount Elgon constituencies mm. yeah. Uh, which are the two among the two four top uh, 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 most populous constituencies in Bungoma. Yeah. Huyu mwaniaji mwingine wa Fodi Kenya anatoka Bumula constituency, uh, Kandui constituency. Yeah. Kandui constituency for longest time imekuwa ngome ya Fodi Kenya and uh, I think their perspective like their perception was like they are going to ride on that wave that uh, uh, Kandui is the stronghold apate kura lakini the entry of uh, DAP candidate wafula wa munyinyi imaribu hesabu kando is now a battleground battleground so the constituency that uh, the for Kenya guy could have uh, and, uh, ange ange sabu kama his first stronghold is a battleground kwaribia tongareni is also also has a history of uh, uh, for Kenya dominance na kitu ambapo ambacho pia kinafanyika huko kwa wale ambao wajui mambo mabonga hails from uh, Tongareni constituency yeah. he has his extended family and uh, relatives there and uh, his class is one of the most populous uh, the Tongareni constituency so kwa hiyo that factor only uh, kabla tuweze kuongelea factors zingine pia has rendered Tongareni a battleground sasa uh, uh, the constituencies among the four most populous constituencies ambazo au uh, watu ambazo ku determine who is win Bungoma mambo mabonga has two and two are already the ba, uh, already ba, uh, battleground tunakuja constituency kama Kabuchai Kabuchai huko watu wanapigia simba kura hiyo yeah. inaenda na for the Kenya yeah. we have another constituency called Dan Wanyama by the way i have been underrated Gavana Musaka hapo anakupa wako kidogo kisa lazima kupoteza wananchi tu hivyo hivyo wanazenda zile mm. hebu tupe hebu ongeza sana wakazi wa, wa, wa Bungoma county wape ujumbe wote wa amani pamoja na ndugu zako tukimaliza naam mm. uh, kwa wakazi wa Bungoma mm. uh, mimi kitu ambacho naweza nikaambia mm. 
uchaguzi unakuja mwezi ujao eh, mchague seneta wenyu na seneta mimi obviously nitawambia chagweni mwambu because uh, of what i know about him i believe about him yeah. ni mtu ambaye atafanya kazi vizuri but all in all eh, kwa mimi naweza kuwa na mazimio yangu lakini watu ambao wata make decision ni watu ni wapiga kura yeah. sasa go exercise your democratic right elect your senator mtu ambaye mtapitiza sisi tutakubali iwe mwambu mabonga ama the unlikely ones uh, sisi tutakubali all yeah. in all yeah. mudumishe amani mpige kura kwa amani mm. alafu tutaenda mbele my uh, social media handles ni hon sanyo everywhere honorable sanyo everywhere yeah on sanyo on sanyo kila mara no. shukran kabisa na wakazi wa bongoma na watakia kila la heri katika uchaguzi utakaofanyika mwezi ujao mwezi wa kuchagua kiongozi ambaye ataweza kuonesha vizuri mmoja wa majukumu ya seneta ni kutetea county fedha zikoje pale na kuangalia pale ambapo gavana kitumia fedha vizuri pale ambapo gavana anasema mende kinyume kinyume mbele itakuwa ni sawa ni langu ni vento singala haya makua yamekuwa makala ya siasa kaunti ya Bungoma tumeiangazia baada ya uchaguzi tutakuja tena mtamwisha bwana Sanyo hapa 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 tu kama ni kweli kama atakao wamepota ni sawa kama atakao wamepata tuambie nini kilifanyika shukran bye bye